What about Cypriots in World War I and World War II? 40,000 of them gave their lives in those, in those things for a free United Europe uh, against fascism. What did they do when we needed their help in Kuwait? Where the whole of the Allied launch for Desert Storm was from Cyprus. What about Iraq when we needed the, their help there? And they went there. There's some people in this room don't agree with the Iraq invasion. Nevertheless, neither do Cyprus. Cyprus government is not committed, not committed on the international front to giving uh, uh, soldiers and air um, and sailors and the rest of it. But what they did do is give their allies support in Iraq and elsewhere. And they do it in Europe today as a member of our family. And what do we do? We look away. We look at the ground. We look in the air. And we don't remember what it's done for us. What the government, the British government, my party and others parties have done since 1960 in relation to Cyprus is an absolute thorough disgrace. That's the reality. They've let Cyprus down. They've turned away from it. They all say it's a problem over there and we're trying to help to solve it. But I'll tell you this, there will be laws passed tonight in this place and this House will stand by those laws. There were laws in 1960, 61 and 62 in relation to the Cyprus Act and we haven't been forthcoming, either as a deliverer of those laws or to be a family, friend and ally of our sister brother nation in the family of Europe. And I think it's got to stop. I think we've got to change it. We're not in the best situation at the present time, but we weren't 23 years ago when I entered this place. When I entered this place, there's people like Tom Cox are still here, sitting in here tonight, and a handful of others that were fighting the good fight for Cyprus. We got that up to 135. Sadly, colleagues, we're about 100 at the present time. We have to reinvigorate ourselves. We've got to gird our loins ready for the battle ahead, and the thing which is going to happen undoubtedly in the next... 12 to 14 months, a general election, and say to every single candidate of whatever party they belong to, will you support us on Cyprus? Because if you don't, you're not getting our votes. That's the reality of it. And after that, we're going to monitor you every single week in Parliament to see when you're asked if you're going to support the scores of Cyprus. Freedom for our brother, sister nation in <coughs> Europe. Whether you're going to support the cause for unification. And if you're not, don't knock on our door. And I say this as a Labour Party member. I'm happy to report that many of my members, most of them, are okay on this particular issue. Some aren't. Some aren't in other political parties either. But people like we've got here, one or two of them are. Now I say this to you. It's going to be really hard because there are other items on the agenda. But we did it in 1987 and we can do it in 2010. The reality is we've got to do it now We've got to do what Linda has done all for all those many years, and we've lost her, as I said today. We've got to replace her, get ourselves ready, move forward, do the work, and deliver, and deliver a free United Cyprus. Not hope on the whims of others, the solutions of theirs, but rather saying, we want for you what we want for ourselves. Comrades, we'll keep on trying our best. Thank you very much.